Sounds like he's about to lose to Jordan. Sounds like he's fixing to throw Stetson on the ground is what he's going to do. Yeah, probably that too. <laughs> <laughs> Means we need to run the ball. You don't have running backs, though. Oh, we don't? Jordan? I'm just kidding. Jordan I'm just back. kidding. You know, James <laughs> yeah. Cook is good. You better be kidding. That's why we James stole Branson Robinson from y'all. Branson Robinson? You don't even know who, who hell, that is anymore. Who the hell are you talking about? I know He's committed Brian to Alabama Robinson. and flipped Georgia. Branson Robinson is the new Nick Chubb, apparently. I mean, he's number oh, six. Here we go. Here we go. No, I said apparently, so yeah. don't quote me on that. Okay. But that's what people are comparing him to. No. But he is a massive son of a bitch. So. Yeah. yeah, running back university is safe. Plus, we have Kendall Milton. And he did not knows. just say he did not just say that. What you did not just call Georgia a running back university? They are. <laughs> oh my god! What? We We're have just, two running backs I, that are high. I was winners. busy doing something, but that just that did that just caught my attention. Who? Okay. Somebody Jeff, to educate Georgia's this Georgia's running. There isn't yeah. somebody in here trying to seriously assert that Georgia's running back. You are they? No, that's what he said. I was just messing around. That's not now. No, you no no no. But, you can't no, back but, it up because I'll, Jeff I'll, got I'll, on to you. I'll say this right now. Uh, Georgia is not running back. You, but you got to give them props. Sony oh, Michelle of course. Just wanna, Sony Michelle just got a ring. He's back in the Super Bowl. Nick Chubb is probably one of the best running backs in the NFL right now. Derrick Henry is one of the best backs in the NFL. And you're right. And you're right. Yeah. So. We can have name, two. Can you name another one? Josh Jacobs isn't doing too bad with the Raiders. I'm sorry, who? Josh Jacobs. Mark Ingram used to be good for the Saints. Yeah. Mark Ingram was with the Raiders for a while. I'm not saying Georgia is running back you, but. They, they put some talent in the NFL. I'll, oh, you got, you well, we're not that. denying that. I mean, you got Michelle, well, who, you got who, who Chubb, you got... Running back you? Who is running back you? Is it Alabama? I mean, oh, one of... It could be, be USC. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I would have to step out and say if anyone's ahead of Alabama, it's USC. I, I, I would have day, to go there. Back in the day, it was USC. Now it's different. Yeah, but I would I would assert I would I would assert I would assert that in the last including before Saban in the last twenty five years I submit to you Sean Alexander, Glenn Coffey, Derek yes. uh, uh, Derek Lassick, Mark Mark Ingram, Derek Trent Coffey. Richardson, T J Yeldon, Kendall Drake. Or Kenyon Drake, Derek Ken- Henry, Josh Jacobs, Damian Harris, Bo Najee Scarborough. Harris, Bo Scarborough. Uh, that's a much longer and more distinguished list than Georgia can provide. Right, but I'm talking about longevity here. Yeah. Yeah. So all those backs that you just mentioned, they didn't have longevity. Eddie Lacy. Eddie, Eddie Lacy, I mean, until he yes. decided he wanted to. Until he decided he'd rather weigh three fifty. <laughs> yeah, that man's kind of yeah, put his health yeah, on the about line. Longevity, yeah, he was too uh, fat to be longevity. I mean, but geez, George's running backs from two thousand eleven to two thousand nineteen were just top tier. I'm I'm not talking about just longevity. I'm talking about overall better players. Derrick Henry. Definitely stands out as the best running back. Maybe I mean I, I would rather have Todd Gurley and Derrick Henry in their prime. In their prime, now agree. Yeah, I I would actually take. I, and I, would, take and Gurley, I would also but... take Sony Michelle getting a ring and being one of the best running backs the Patriots have had in the past ten years. Sony Michelle, Nick Chubb, can't forget yeah. Keith Marshall and. Uh, DeAndre Swift, Elijah Holyfield, and plenty more. 
What I remember about Sonny Michelle and Nick Chubb was their com- was their complete and utter inability to get it done against Alabama. Oh, I thought we were talking about NFL, not Alabama. oh 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 no. I was just talking about uh, you know what happened when they actually played against Alabama. Oh, okay. So you, you should have given up. it to so, Sony more than that. We were talking about we were talking about NFL, so that's okay. Sony was having success in the natty. We just didn't give it to him enough. (laughs) (laughs) No, but seriously, like, I mean, Sony Michelle and Nick Chubb, one of the best running backs. I mean, Sony's going back to the Super Bowl again. Nick Chubb, uh, MVP candidate. Chubb, one of the best backs. Gurley in his prime was amazing. I mean, so, I mean, just... there's like an argument for running back you, but I'm just saying that Georgia's not one. And I don't the, think Alabama. The only is thing with too. Georgia, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but a lot of the running backs in Mark Rick there for Georgia had to play under a horrible offensive line. I'm just saying. You hear this? Yeah. You hear yeah, that? Don't do that on stream. Come on now. That's a sheet of paper. Yeah. I got some facts. I got some facts here for you to listen Don't to. Don't do that on stream, man. Okay. <laughs> I got some facts here for you to listen to. I got some fingers out of this one. <laughs> under oh, here's under, a, oh, oh, under oh, Nick uh, Saban. Before, yeah. Under Nick Saban. 106 games as the AP ranked number one team. More first round draft picks then losses. 41 five-star players since 2008. Are we still talking about NFL running backs? or what No, are we you're listen, you're listen to me. Listen to me. We're talking about who produces talent. No, I 41, 41, 41 five-star <laughs> players since 2008. 48 Point eight percent, forty-eight point eight percent of five-star players Literally enrolled at Alabama since two thousand eight have been drafted in the first round. The Ooh. entire rest of the country, two hundred and eighty-five five-star players in the fir- uh, since two thousand and eight. You know what percentage of them have been drafted in the first round? No, Joe, Eight, tell me. 18, 18.3%. 30% less than the five stars who go to Alabama. Hmm. Of, 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 of drafting, of being a five-star and going anywhere in the draft, 78.6% of Alabama's five stars get drafted somewhere. The entire rest, the entire rest of the country, sixty-two percent. So who gets the, in the who, section saying, uh, I, I, "Okay, I understand your stats," but LW in the comment section saying, "Cam Akers is the starter at the Rams." I believe he has that. Yeah, been. It's not even like I believe it; it's a fact. But you got to think. So to Michelle, right behind him, and he's got a ring. Got to think about that. Jeff, when we, Sonny um, Michelle lost his job to Damian Harris. Yeah, but he's still got a ring, and he's uh, the backup, you know? Yeah. Yeah? So you yeah. got to give yeah, pressure to that. I don't know. So, so like, you, I don't wanna, you don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to comment on this, on, on the atom bomb I just dropped? What's the atom? Oh, did you mention uh, when we were talking about Alabama? What's the atom bomb? I'm confused. Did you ever shut up? Did you ever mention uh, Mr. Bobby Humphrey? Was a oh yeah, Bobby Humphrey. uh, Really good. He um, at the time. I I watched. I watched Bobby Humphrey run for over 200 yards in Neyland Stadium and watched Alabama beat Tennessee 56-24, and the Tennessee fans left before. Yeah. Tennessee fan, Tennessee fans had abandoned the stadium before the fourth quarter even started. Forty touchdowns in four seasons for him. He was an All American in eighty six and eighty seven in college football, and he ran for thirty four hundred plus yards and set like a school record at the time. I mean, he was he was good. 
But carry on with what y'all were talking about, like the Rams or whatever stats or I, I don't even remember where we were. I'm sorry. I'm going to be honest. I don't that, even but... know what we're talking about now. We're talking about running backs or <laughs> something else. <laughs> We were talking Alabama about is our the NFL, but someone got carried away with stats about Alabama. Well, we're running back university. We're entitled to that. So, yes, sir. No, I was well. I was I was blowing up your I was blowing up your running back university and throwing that argument in the garbage. You started like, talking about offensive linemen and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was <laughs> doesn't really doesn't really carry over with the. Uh, Running backs in the NFL, but I'm talking about I'm talking about what Jermaine Jermaine Burton thought realized that if, to get the now maximum we're going to transfer portals. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah, to get the okay. maximum it makes no sense to get Jeff, to listen, get Jeff, listen, to, you're, to get we, the maximum our, of my our, potential our was no, I'm tired of Kobe RBU. talking over me. Uh, our, okay, don't. I'm gonna I'm mute and of talk. It. Go ahead. He's muted now. Damn it. I'll let him talk, <laughs> but if I start first, I get a finish first. Yeah. We're not talking about Michelle not being a great talent. He's in the NFL. He's obviously a superior talent. Nick Chubb's obviously a superior talent. Todd Gurley's obviously a superior talent. The argument I was making was that in no place do you maximize your potential like you do in Tuscaloosa, and the numbers that I just read off to you prove it. That's why Jermaine Burton is leaving Athens, because he wants to maximize his potential. Okay, I'm done. Wow, Colby, you, you can you can go now. <laughs> can I? Am I allowed to? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Please do. Okay, I didn't want anybody to start talking first, so I can't talk before. Okay. Anyway, what does Jermaine Burton have to do with uh NFL talent uh with Alabama and Georgia running backs? And I'll let you talk now because I'm done finished. And I'll mute myself. We're just talking about if if you are the blank blank you, then that means you are maximizing the talent of every player you get. You're taking the threes and turning them into fours. You're taking the fours and turning them into fives. You're taking your fives and getting them drafted in the first round. What I'm saying is Georgia does not maximize the talent of their players like Nick Saban does at Alabama. No one gets more out of their stars than Alabama does. That's what I was saying. I mean, no one's arguing with you. Now... Would you say, though, like, is it fair to say that maybe George does that on the defensive side of things? Well, yeah, the league is, the league is full of Georgia players. In fact, yeah. in, in fact, N'Kobe Dean needs to come to Chicago. <laughs> You're ready for that. You need to trade with the Bucs, I think, just so we can. N'Kobe Dean needs to come to Chicago so he can play alongside Ogletree and Roquan Smith. And then I can root for him then. Roquan Smith, that was the name. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to come to Chicago. George has also had very good linebackers, just like they've had running backs. Yeah, let's just not talk about uh, that. Never mind. I'll just shut up. I'll I'll just get bitched at by Jeff Webster. Is that actually true, or are you trolling RMF side? Michelle has arthritis in his knees. Is that true? No. What's he getting at here? Wait, he just strong no. I don't know the total number of Georgia players in the NFL, but it's got to be over thirty. Is that true? What? Somebody said something about Sony Michelle having arthritis. 
Oh, I don't know. Arthritic knee. For Jeff, his you sake, I, I hope you, right. you know I love you, Jeff. Yeah. I hope for Michelle's sake that that's not true. I've seen I've seen nothing about that when I've looked okay. it up. But well, okay, someone put it out on Twitter back in August this past year. And that, oh. That's what I'm rating here: stem cell injections. Oh, we got this in. Oh, we had it in August. Yeah, but it still can affect him long term and, and give him something that he should get in like his seventies. Here in like his upcoming, like when he hits his thirties or whatever. I mean, he's still really young. That's why the Rams. I mean, geez, I, I feel like it would have been a much different game versus the Patriots in 2018 if Todd Gurley was fully healthy, because they they had no offense that year besides Todd Gurley, or they well they had a little bit. Well, they had good offense, okay, but Gurley when was. When that thirteen to three was that the final? Yeah, of the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was too bad. I felt bad for Gurley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jerry Bluff sucks. After, after, I don't care that they played to George. After they're, in the, after they're in the NFL, then I just care about what team they're on then. I mean, you know, like I, I want the Rams to win because of Matt Stafford. He's a Georgia quarterback. That's why I want him, I want him to win because he's been in the league for 13 years and he suffered all those years at Detroit, and his wife has overcome brain cancer, and and he's and he's a good guy, and he gives a ton of money to charity that doesn't get reported, and and so good for him. He's a good guy. I want I, and what's his name is Young. He'll probably have more chances. Michelle. Uh, uh, no, TK's guy. What's his name? Oh, Joe Burrow. Yeah, yeah. He'll have more chance. He, he's he. Well, you never. You can never say never, but. He might have more chances. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to see Him Stafford get face. one. And thank goodness they humbled uh, Jackson Mahomes and Brittany Matthews. Yeah, that was that was nice to see the, the Chiefs get beat. Yeah, thank God they blew. They came back down twenty-one-three. I mean, I don't know why. I mean. Literally, game. Honestly, just a little bit. I mean, I got everything I wanted. I got, I got Tampa Bay knocked out of the playoffs. Great. I got the Chiefs knocked out of the playoffs, and Brady retired. I mean, what a trifecta! I mean, beautiful, <laughs> yeah. beautiful, That's beautiful. <laughs> Hopefully, the Falcons mm-hmm. can step up in the end. The NFC. Falcons will never do anything. I swear. I mean, I've been I've been waiting since the year two thousand for Brady to get out of the league. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you finally got. It. Yeah, I, I wanted him. I wanted sport. him out of the league longer than Jacob Watson's been alive. Ballard, you have TikTok. <laughs> Do you have you seen Gronk's post about Brady? Also longer than Ballard. No, you should look it up right now and play it. It's, it's hold on. It's cool. It's it's pretty cool. On cool. uh, Gronk's TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob's. No. I don't know. Let me turn it down first. But it's heartfelt. Fight. I mean, it's. It's cool. I'll find him. Fiddle load. Oh, USA beat Canada today. A? Canada A. About ta- about uh, Tampa Bay. Okay, so apparently the arthritis is why he was traded. Did he put? He posted it today. Yeah, he did. All right, now I'm gonna play this, Wait, what, um, and I'm gonna show playing? it, show it to you right here. About what are we playing? It's a TikTok of Gronk that Col- Colby wants me to play. Oh, yeah, Gronk's gonna go as well. No way, stays. Unbelievable. I love it. Did you catch that? Ooh, you make me live. Ooh, you make me live. 
Two tidies. Saving him for the Super Bowl. That was great. That was perfect. That was just what I needed. I feel ripped now. Can I twerk? I feel like I could twerk. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> girl. That's not bad. That's not bad. You've been friends for so long. What will I do a lot of when I retire? A lot of pliability work still? <laughs> That's for sure. All right. That was long. That was pretty good. TikTok, that was long. Bro, if I've never seen a bromance in my life, that's going to be it right there. Hey, good morning, TikTok. Yeah. How y'all doing? Hey, good morning. Yeah. Do I love Gronk? If I, my, he's like my spirit animal. I think Jeff Webster meant I don't wish, not I don't miss. Yeah. In the comment section there. Yeah, I don't wish those kind of injuries on anybody. Guy's got arthritis in his knee, right? Yeah. I'm saying you made a typo. Oh, we changed it. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, I'm about to get out of here. Got to head to bed soon. Yeah, I'm not too far behind, man. I get up uh, tomorrow's Thursday, so I got classes. So I'm fixing to end it here. Jeff, I know we love arguing. <laughs> and just just know just know I love you too. That's what we do on here, man. That's all. Jeff Jeff Wester is one of my favorite guys. Oh, okay. All right. That was weird. We love arguments on here unless it's Uncle Lou and Chess. Oh, shit, what was I gonna do? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, the running back you conversation, that was got some heat tonight. Between Colby yeah. and Flubster. That was funny. That that I mean you, it, you should upload that one later on. I give I you should. Georgia time. and Alabama. I mean maybe they're both running back you to be honest. I don't know. I mean Georgia's had a lot of great run. I'm just saying, you know, imagine Todd Gurley behind the two thousand and twelve Bama offensive line. Mm-hmm. You know. He didn't have that luxury. Yeah. Anyway, look, man, I'm going to end it here. Uh, appreciate you coming on, buddy, as always, and uh, we'll see you. Oh, you're uh, shutting the stream down? Yeah. Thanks for coming on, though. Appreciate it. All right. See you later, Alan. Go to Hawks. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Nah. National what? National what? Champions. Yeah. yeah National yeah, champions. Yeah. One time though. One time. Whatever. Okay. We, we got the it's last one. It's over now. It's over now. Uh, <laughs> we're still the we're still national champions. <laughs> see ya. All right. See ya. Appreciate you, Jacob, Colby, Jeff, for coming on. A lot of great people tonight. I love y'all. I'm going to get out of here. It is late. It's Wednesday. I got class in the morning, so best I get some rest. And um, uh, good day for signing day. 
congrats and good luck to all the recruits out there that uh, got signed today. Um, wish them nothing but the best, no matter where they go. Uh, always hope for the best out of college kids. So um, we wish them luck. And uh, y'all know me, though. <laughs> RMF tie, we still run the SEC, RBU, uh, wide receiver U, NFLU resides in Tuscaloosa. Facts. And you can't take that away from us. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Keep your head up. God bless. And as always, roll tie.